hand clap to the master guys that that hand clap suck man hand clap to the master guys we are definitely back again for another one on this set of one only mr Lix reacts channel guys sunday edition and of course we are back here again for these vibes that i'm seeing right there guys round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who tuned into yet another vibrations guys give this video a thumbs up of course that'll help help the algorithm to push your videos further and further so please do do so right now by giving this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to become a part of <laughs> what subscribe if you want to become a part of the mr Licks reacts channel right there and then the mr Licks family right there guys of course guys what you're seeing right there is apparently an article that is written by usnews.com so united states news.com and of course the whole title right there is indicating small caribbean island to export billions of gallons of fresh water and the small caribbean island that you're seeing right there guys is the island of dominica will begin shipping billions of gallons of its river water to parched countries countries that i need of water rather interesting considering the times that we're living in right now we are pretty much importing water right there but apparently based on this article it states that dominica will be uh, uh exporting billions of gallons of fresh water Ooh, that is definitely a wonderful thing right there in this regard and of course this is uh brought by ap i actually have dealings with the ap associated press anyways this is what they're saying right there guys of course based off san juan puerto rico lush but poor Caribbean island of Dominica will allow an export company to ship billions of gallons of its river water to patch countries from across the globe, brothers and sisters. Officials said Saturday, Prime Minister Roosevelt's carrot cabinet signed a deal on Thursday. So apparently he signed some sort of deal with a Col um, Colorado company to collect drinking water from the volcanic island's interior and ship it across the world to other countries as far as the Middle East, um, of course, based on what this individual is saying right there, Perman Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Public Utility, um, Utilities, Energy and Ports. The 10-year license allows Cicero Water, Inc. to collect 3 billion gallons, 11 billion liters of fresh water annually from the Clyde River, Blackmore stated. He said studies from extra... What the? Extracting the water, he says. Studies from extracting the water will not harm in. I will not harm. I. I just trying to. Let me get back in my 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 um. Uh, he said studies from extracting the water will not harm islanders or damage the delicate ecological mix of Dominica. Of course, we have a number of water, both at the top where rain fall through the trees, the middle ground, and from the bottom, the source, brothers and sisters. We have a number of waters right there. And of course, it says it will not harm the islanders or damage the delicate ecological mix of Dominica. The tropical island has of um, 71,000 people. It's rather interesting. I heard that Dominic, um, Barbados has 300,000 people. And of course, Barbados is like half the size of Dominica. Anyways, 71,000 people, about 30 miles. I think it's 27 miles uh, long and 16 miles, of course, wide. That's totally the... the the aspect ratio of how big Dominica is. The country bro um, brands itself as the Caribbean's nature isle. Even though other Caribbean islands are definitely the nature isle of the world as well, we tend to brand ourselves because that is what we can brand ourselves. However, we should call, consider ourselves the, 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 the water source of, 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 of the Caribbean because I don't think no other Caribbean country have the amount of water we have, eh? <laughs> Especially in this day and age that we're living in. So... That is what they're saying right there. One of the comp companies, uh, four directors, is former cabinet minister Arthur, T Arthur Tron Marty, Afi Mate. Uh, that's French. Who in 1998 won a Golden Environmental Prize for protecting Dominica from being despoiled by a major copper mine. Martin did not answer telephone calls for Saturday, apparently. Cicero, which has Dominica and Americans um, shareholders, I guess that is you know the company's name is registered in dominica but has its headquarters in what that telluride colorado in a telephone interview with telluride cicero's president tim jik jilek <laughs> boy who can who can give you that last name boy anyway said so the company will invest 32 million to build a pipeline terminal and storage tanks in dominica's rugged north so in the north of dominica i'm guessing all right, and in interesting. This is an island that gets 300 inches of rain each year. That's a lot of inches, you know, guys. 
That's a lot of inches per year. And the water comes out totally clean. That's 100, totally clean. That's 100% accurate right there. Anyways, moving down. You see, Gilek said the company has had early discussions with potential clients from other Caribbean nations. Florida, Miami-Dade County, I know that area, and the Middle East, Eastern um, countries of Yemen and Qatar. A few people in Dominica are expressing concerns. I am not a scientist. This is some of the individuals right there. I'm not a scientist, but I'm a little skeptical because it sounds like a huge amount of water from the river. And because, guys, the river is always constantly flowing here, so obviously if you bottle it, I mean, more water will come. You don't think so? I could be wrong. It's constantly flowing here. If, it, if it's not flowing, then we have a problem right there. But if it's flowing, you can put some pipe on the bottom of the river and collect the water, man. Where it going now? In the sea? Ah, man, we can't give the sea water. All right. Anyways, the deal with Cesar Rose. Anyways, where I was now? Uh, yeah, I'm not a scientist, but a little skeptical because it sounds like a huge amount of water from the river. And because it is, it has not been discussed with the public, uh, uh, this individual stated, former acting attorney general and founder of the island's Whitey Kubuli Ecological Foundation. The deal with Cicero is one of several ways in which island officials say they will tap into Dominica's natural resources to boost the economy. Earlier this month, Scary and Dominica plans to export bottled water to Asia and sell electricity to its neighbors. I think I think that is geothermal vibes that they were trying to do right there, but we know that don't work out at all. To its neighbors, and after a two-year study found the island underground source sources that produce more than 20 million gallons of water. So that's underground right there. You see the either island's geothermal resources. Remember. The steam, I, I found it out recently from one of, if you guys watch my vlog, I found that out in discussion in discussion with this individual right there. Um I'll post that link in the in the first comment in the comment box below. Um I found out that the water itself, the steam, when it goes up into and, and, and coming out on the surface, it, it then um transforms itself into water. So you have the steam coming up, transforming itself, and the water flows on the land, not just the rain falling as well. So it's rather interesting. You have both aspects of water coming through right there. He said the island's geothermal resources could support up to four power plants capable of producing 30 megawatts of energy each. So that is 30 times 4. That is 120. Yes, brothers and sisters. with there. Dominica could sell the power to nearby French Caribbean islands. Of French Caribbean islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique, I guess the Saints in there and, and, and the others, Mary Gallant and what have you. Uh, submarine capables, possibly by 2013, Skerritt said. <laughs> so you realize something right there, guys. We are in 2022. This article was written November 14th, 2009. 2009, brothers and sisters. And we know Dominica has an abundance of water. No doubt about it. I mean, there will be a few things here and there. We don't have to take all the water. You know, it's all the water we're going to feed the world with. But mere fact, this was 2009, guys. 2009! That written. And scary to say by 2013, that should be possible. Look at right there. It should be possible by 2013. 2022 we in now, guys. We do hear nothing about geothermal no more. <laughs> we do hear nothing about water no more. In fact, we importing all kinds of water. I think it have a Qatar water in Dominica, you know. So we do the opposite. <laughs> we also export water to those places. I believe, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. You guys, you know, you probably drink more water outside there than me. Sous water I drink. <laughs> Sous water to water from the Sous, man. Yes, sir. So that is the water that I drink. Right there, guys. So you guys who like to go and drink bottled water and whatnot, you guys should know the different kind of water. But I believe I saw a Qatar water uh, on the shelf somewhere. Some some water from Qatar. I saw Asian water. I saw, I think I, I remember seeing some Qatar name. It could be something else, but I think it's Qatar water. I remember seeing. I see Antigan water. I see Trinidad water. We have all kind of water in Dominica. And look, they say... Caribbean island to export billions of gallons of fresh water and instead of that 2009 that is 13 years ago well it's not 13 it's 12 years right now guys 12 years ago almost 13 november 14th we'll give it 13 years 
12 years ago, guys, this was stated right there. Well, it wasn't discussed with the public. What happened to these guys? What, 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 what exactly happened to this? I mean, are you making the Associated Press seem like liars now? Because AP checking, that is what all you say. And all you, all you don't fulfill that at all. Look, you even have a website there. Caesar Water. Let me see if that's still open. Oh, but the, 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 the site. <laughs> it don't, the site closed, guys. The site is closed. So, well... Miss Ami. Well, brothers and sisters, um, they had the link there, the work. But what, what, what exactly has happened to the water, guys? You see? Empty promises, man. Empty promises. Look nobody here, and they're talking about the airport. Well, some individuals have been saying this, that the airport is not going to be able <laughs> But I'm like, how is the airport not going to be? And we just saw some trucks passing and whatnot, talking about they're going to be building airport and what have you. So, I guess we'll see uh, as time goes by. Like I said before, guys, I am not going to trust anything that the Prime Minister say until I see it with my own kokosi, my eyeballs. Ah, I can see it. I'm not going to believe at all. I can see it. Look here, airport, right there. No, I'm not going to see it at all. I have to touch it with my hands. Because unless these hands don't touch nothing, it's not real, man. <laughs> it's not real. You see, all the empty promises have been made. I understand that people were showing concerns and what have you. But then we see that individuals, and they didn't even bring that out to the public. I'm sure you guys didn't notice this. Actually, I didn't even notice. Mr. Dick's family that sent this for me right there. And of course, Dominica to export water. U.S. news right there, guys. And of course, that was covered by AP, AP Associated Press right there. So... What are your thoughts on this whole situation right there, guys? By the way, this is definitely not Dominica. Which part of Dominica that day? They're they doing an article about Dominica. And, and which part of Dominica that day? Huh? That, that looking like Dominica to all you? Which part of Dominica that day? That is Cabrits? That is Cabrits? <laughs> that is, <laughs> is Marigalant over there? <laughs> that is Cabrits. <laughs> Boy. People deadly in that place, every boy. How are you talking about Dominica? Are you doing that Dominica photo there? We, we, come on, man. Come on, man. We, we, we're not that bad. Dominica looking beautiful. I know I have aerial. Guys, you can check out my aerial um, Dominica videos. Just type in aerial Dominica on YouTube. And you must see the beauty of Dominica. I even have Hurricane Marian and, and after and before and all those kind of things here. So, it's not like we badly off. They're using another island to describe Dominica. And it's Dominica. They're talking about which other Caribbean island they talk about there now. They don't talk about no other Caribbean island there. They're talking about Dominica alone. Dominica. Dominice. They even mentioned Whitey Kuboli. They mentioned Whitey Kuboli. But, 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 what is this? They're probably St. Kitts, man. Looks like St. Kitts. Hmm. We're not that badly of Nepal. I mean, come on. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in this regard. Where did this water, where did this um, 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 promise go? I think that would have brought in a lot of, 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 of monies into Dominica. Uh, since 2009. So you can't say Hurricane Maria at Quivy. No. You, Hurricane Maria was in 2017. Tropical Storm Erica was in 2015. So we cannot say, but hey, boy, Hurricane, that's up. That. No, no. What happened? Scared to say by 2013 that would have come true. 2013, it would have come true. But, you know, nothing happened as a result. Just like they talk about the school. They say it has how much school? I think it's two schools that had passed through Dominica. <laughs> Guys, two schools that passed through Dominica. That, that Ross, in the Ross establishment there. Two schools that passed there, you know. We have the Domed one and we have the other one. We have the, um, the Indian one and we have the Pakistan one. None of which, well, the Indian one actually made it to here. But the Pakistan one, it don't reach yet, no? <laughs> it don't reach yet. Boy, we good in that place there, we boy. We good in that place there. Yes, sir. I guess that's what we like, man. We like that stuff. Small Caribbean island to export billions of gallons of fresh water. That is actually utilizing our resources right there. And I think that is a wonderful industry to be part of. But how on earth we were supposed to export billions of gallons of fresh water in 2009? 
Let's carry say 2013. So about four years from 2009. And four years from 2009, 2013, eight years later. <laughs> eight years later, brothers and sisters. <sighs> I have to go back to the articles and hey, oh, that's what they say. We 2009, we boy, yes, we boy. Well, yeah, it would have been a wonderful thing, no doubt about it. A lot of money would be coming in, but when we're looking at what is Dominica today, guys, I'm realizing, but with a while, Dominica importing water instead of exporting the billions of gallons of fresh water, they say, and we lose Lubia. Where's Lubia spring water? We lose that. That closed down. But why take a woolly? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you understand it, give this video a thumbs up. And let me know your thoughts, like I said before, in the comment box below. The vlog will be in the first comment in the comment box below as well, guys. So definitely check that out right there. That's a vlog that we went up in the fiery mountains of, um, of, of Gautama. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.